What I have here are my old sneakers that I want to repaint and repair so they look like new. Why do I do this? Even though I can afford buying new sneakers, I wear 52 EU or 17 US shoe size, meaning sneakers are not that easy to find. Also I thought posting this video might help those that are not able to buy new pair of sneakers every few months. First thing to do is to take the shoelaces off. One important point. All things I do on this channel, I'm doing for the first time. By doing so, I'm hoping to motivate you to try something similar on your own. In my experience, we are just afraid of trying out new things, while the task at hand might be very easy. I will be using a regular toothbrush and some detergent diluted in warm water to clean the sneakers. I'm cleaning the soles of the sneakers, but also the leather itself. It is important to clean the leather, since any impurities and grease would impede paint from sticking to the leather. With pliers or scissors, you should cut anything that is out of place, like the thread from the stitching or the padding that got loose over time. With the masking tape, we should protect all the areas that we do not plan on painting. I'm actually using electrical tape, since in my experience it sticks a little better to the rubber surfaces. Even though the soles of the shoes are also white, I will be covering them as well. Being as tempting as it is, the white paint for the leather will not stick to the rubber soles, so there is no point on painting them. So I have two options, to cover these side turquoise decorations with a masking tape or to paint everything white and then paint the decorations in another color. Having only the white painted hand, I will opt for the first option, in other words, protecting the decorations with the masking tape. I have finished one side of the shoe and it looks like this. I will be using an airbrush and some white leather paint that costs around 7.6 euros. I'm using an airbrush just because I have just bought it and I'm anxious to give it a try. You can achieve the same results with the regular brush and the same leather paint. Let's give it a try. The airbrush is working and I'm trying to evenly spread the paint. After the paint has dried, with something sharp you should take the masking tape off. Here is the finished shoe. I'm very happy with the result, it looks almost like new. It is hard to notice the difference, so let's compare it with the left shoe that I have not worked on. Wow, that's really a difference. I have really enjoyed this one. It takes no more than an hour and a half to finish both shoes. So if you give it a try, please let me know how it went in the comment section below. Until the next time, bye bye.